Good morning, welcome, welcome everybody. Welcome to my channel, my name is Chrissy, and today I'm gonna to be giving you a prediction reading for the 11th of October. Now, it is my hubby's birthday today, so I better make sure I remember that. Um, I think we're going out for dinner tonight. Just, we have a little, like, Lebanese restaurant here, so it's always got really yummy food, so he wants to go there. So I think we'll be having a yummy dinner out. That's not of cooking for lucky me, um, which is good. Um, also, guys, I just wanted to say a shout out, um, firstly, Addy, to you. Um, you're having trouble now with your leg. Um, you've had a baker's cyst rupture, which I can relate to. That happened to me. That's how my leg problems began. So be careful of your back and your neck as well after that, because sometimes when you're limping, it puts your whole body out, as most of us know here. Um, look, we're all suffering a lot of ailments at the moment, so it's great for sharing, guys. Um, what we're all going through it's certainly mysterious but you know maybe it is part of the ascension process um look if you are new please consider subscribing please hit those like buttons guys that helps me a lot um i do appreciate anyone who just watches my videos in general um even if you can just hit the like button that's great you don't have to comment every time i know that's a lot out of people today to make the effort to comment although some of you are so brilliant you write me essays it's great I have to sit and really absorb um, what you've written. So sometimes it takes me a day or two to really get back to you guys. But you just know that I will get back to you. That's if YouTube gives me the uh, comments. Um, the other thing is yesterday we got that beautiful song, Nights in White Satin by Moody Blues. Thank you, guys. You always let me know who sings what music and you give me other songs as well. That song really moves me it's a song that has always moved me um if you haven't played it go and play it guys there's something about that song that just uplifts my spirit i don't know what it is um i think it's the frequency and vibration of that song but that song for some reason it makes me very emotional inside i love that song nights in white satin please go check it out I had not heard that for years. Um, cheers, everybody. I've got my coffee. Um, we've still got the um, a little bit of admin for Oz down under here. We've still got the Israel protests event. As you guys know, London, you particularly got this as well. They're still protesting and carrying on in the streets. And... Um, Australians are now asking, um, why are the police not stopping these protests against the, I won't say it, J-E-W-S, um, because we don't want to be living, um, this way. If we're supposed to be a democratic society where everybody's supposed to be getting on, how come the police are standing by and just allowing people to chant, which they were in Australia? horrific things against different races so there was all visuals of the police just standing there just doing nothing but god help yeah and i think that's why it affects us so much guys if you stand up against your government you'll be charged and arrested pretty much for that so go figure how's this all working very confusing isn't it guys anyway enough of that i bought some cards along as well guys all right let's get started and we'll see what comes up This is interesting. I'm getting, this is weird. This is about language. I'm getting the English speaking countries are getting the makeover first. Now that's kind of interesting, but a lot, if you think about it, a lot of English speaking countries are, look at England, New Zealand, Australia, probably Canada really is your main language. I know you do speak some French in that there. Um, well, we can't really... Well, France, there probably is a lot of people that speak English there. But they're saying to me that this is the language. Um, I don't understand the significance of this. Hang on a minute. Oh, they're saying because... In, oh, okay. Because English is a very universal language, they're, they're, they're pushing it through a lot of English-speaking countries first. I don't get it. 
I just don't get why they would do that. But if you think about it, oh, that's weird, isn't it? I'm just getting it. So I just share it with you guys. Um, that means the reset rollout's being hit to the English speaking countries first. That's weird. I've never even thought about that, have you guys? That's so weird. Because even a lot of this saying a lot of Asians, most countries are taught some English. It's a quite a universal. I don't think it's the most spoken though. There's another one. My daughter was saying it. I can't remember which one it is. Um, but English is quite um, universal is what I'm getting. So that's why a lot of the English speaking countries Oh, guys, oh, I did sleep last night. It's a miracle. I think I'm just catching up, guys. As you all know, a lot of you out there don't sleep at all either with your ailments and aches and pains. Um, but I've actually been getting blocks of sleep. It's been so amazing. I had another straight through night last night. Oh, sleep is just the best, isn't it, guys? Um, it just changes how you feel. Um, yeah, so I'm getting the English-speaking countries are being hit with the reset first. Wow. Or mostly English speaking countries. And I am getting that the reset. We talked about this yesterday. The reset's not relatable to people. People can't relate to it. People, see, people don't understand why you would need a reset. Like, it's like, well, why do you need a reset? Why does everything need resetting? See, people can't make sense of it. Not us. We understand. It's all about greed, money, and power. But the people waking up, they don't, they don't understand why everything needs to be reset and overhauled just because we went through a scandemic, as we all know here. Why does the world have to change because of a virus? See, it doesn't make sense. As we know, because that was just the, the gate to open up the scamdemic, wasn't it? That was just the gate to uh, gain control of the people, which didn't work for all people, did it, guys? Not us on this channel, anyway. All right, let's keep going. I'm getting in summary. This is summing things up. The guides are saying, in summary, people are angered. It's the people waking up. They're angered, they're frightened, they're hurting. Well, they're definitely hurting financially. And they're realising that their life's becoming like a big drama, like a big drama show, like a big soap opera. It's showing me like a big, like days of our lives, kind of young and the restless, bold and the beautiful, these kind of shows. Um, people, it's people waking up, not us, because we're always safe protecting ourselves over here in the uh, hibernating bear cave but these people waking up feel like they're living in a soap opera because oh sorry guys oh gosh some days i just get so tired coffee time probably make you guys your one sometimes and when you're channeling it takes a lot out of you too um i am getting that um, it's, their life feels like a big drama. Like every corner they turn, it's like, oh, oh. you know how I'm like bold and the beautiful, you'd get Brook and Ridge in that and they'd always be oh, with those faces, like like the shocked face. Well, that's what people, these people waking up feel like their lives are becoming. They feel like their lives are just shocking. Every At every turn, every time they turn a corner, there's something else, there's something else. I bet in the UK people are doing the old shock face like out of a buddy um, <laughs> TV soap opera because um, sushi hit so hard with all the Euless, um, le lecky car crap, 15-minute city crap, all of the crap. Oh, not to forget the chopping down the trees and putting in your algae tank crap. Um <laughs> So it is, it feels like people are living in like a big drama show now. Everything's becoming a drama and we've got more dramas because now we've got another war in our hands, not only the, you know, blame Putin. I think that's what Trudeau was blaming in that. 
I told you about him getting called out by that heckler the other day <laughs> for his emissions and all that. And he was still blaming Putin. In Trudeau was blaming Putin. Like, hello, let's just blame Putin for everything. So now we've got the another war. So it's all fear. Everything is fear. So we've got the big soap opera drama going on that's how these people's lives feel they feel like they're living in a soap opera because as we know none of this feels real we call it the clown show because we just see it as laughable just a ridiculous joke that people are even like listening to this crap i mean look at we're still laughing here guys at the indian moon landing pictures of their spaceship with the yellow cellophane looked out of a pac-man game visual and also the 10,000-year-old alien statues that are supposed to be petrified, like, that look like they were straight off the plaster cast machine at the movie, buddy, what do you call that movie place where they make all the props? Um, that's what it looked like, didn't it? Warner Brothers Studios or something that, that made, modelled off E.T. So, you know, to us, it's a big giant clown show and we have nothing but laughs here, don't we, at the stupidness. Yes, it affects us. I always say we get the ripple effect of it. But these people are in shock. And, of course, like we've been talking about here, we've got the alien invasion on the horizon where they're trying to desensitise everyone to the aliens. So still scaring people, but just planting little seeds of, oh, yes, and all the alien sightings of it coming out like like one of you said like why now why is this all happening now it's all just a big giant setup like we know so these people are feeling like they're stuck in a big dramatic soap opera um and they're in the middle of it and i'm getting that song for them stuck in the middle with you um whatever that song is um, stuck in the middle with you. So they all feel a bit stuck in the middle of this big drama show. Um, all right, let's keep going. And it is, it's that shock. I told you people will go in shock, but they also go into anger and beast mode. So you have to be very, very careful, guys, of these people waking up. I know I reiterate it and say it all the time, but it's true. You have to be very careful of protecting your own energy. Because um, there's crazy times ahead. Well, we've been going through crazy times for four years, but there's still crazy times ahead. All right. I'm getting Great Britain. And they're making me say it like Great Britain. Um, not that that sounds very British. British. Um, I'm seeing you guys charging forth a lot. The little people are getting in their brave heart energy now. This is awesome, guys. Uh, they're showing me with their swords and shields standing up to, well, pretty much sushi and these dictating tyrants over there. I, I am getting that. Great Britain is finally getting into its, um, it's, it's getting empowered. It's getting into its strength. This is the little people, peasants and Lego people. They're finally finding that inner strength. Um, which comes with like wisdom, you know, you might go through your angers, your hurts and your pains and we talk about the beast mode and all that, but then some, it comes to a point, this is the part of the awakening process, where you have to turn it into something productive, don't you? You have to either turn it into, well, I'm going to fight this, it's fight or flight, isn't it? Fight or flight, you're either going to fight or you're going to take off. But see, now people are starting to fight, and it's good. It's good. That's what we need, guys. We need them to fight for being free, for their freedom. Um, that's what I'm getting in Great Britain. People are, oh, they're calling them rebellions. They're rebelling. Oh, what a big bunch of rebels. Oh, I'm getting... um. For some reason, they're giving me that Billy Idol song. In the midnight hour, they cried more, more, more. With a rebel yell. Is it rebel yell? More, more, more. Anyway, I'm just getting that song for Great Britain. Who's finally, hooray, finally starting to stand up against the government. And I think you guys are realising that's happening with sushi. It's not all just rolling out to perfection. Um, he's had to pull his head in a few times, hasn't he, in the last couple of months? 
He goes hard, but then he has to retreat. He goes hard and then he has to retreat. And I did see him actually talking last night about the Israel um, event and how they're going to um, stand by the Israelis. And then we had Biden saying the same thing. It wasn't Biden. It was that upright guy again. I don't understand. Does he have a mask on or is, what's the go? Because it's not the Biden that we know Biden really is. Because suddenly he makes sense again in front of the microphone. I don't get it. We don't know what's real and what's not real anymore. That's a fact, actually. I think that's even in that song, Nights in White Satin. Just what the truth is, I can't say anymore is one of the lines in that, I think, a song. That's why we got it, I think. You can't say what's real and what's not. I can tell well, we kind of can sometimes. When it came to the Indian moon landing, it sort of didn't look so real, did it? Um, so anyway, the people of Great Britain, Britain are getting wiser, which is good. They're starting to listen to their gut feelings. And they're starting to be heard, which is good. They're finding their voices. Showing me the megaphone, people in the megaphone saying they don't want it. They don't want the BS that the government is throwing on them, like I said yesterday, chucking at them. All right, let's keep going. God, I'm getting Australia's capital, Canberra, which is the capital of Australia. It's not Sydney. Everyone thinks it's Sydney. Um, two very different cities. Um, they call Canberra the, the city with no soul. I don't know why. Well, you kind of can. I don't, I'm sure everyone's not the same. But when you do go there, because it's like an hour from where I live, it's not, it's a very heartless kind of place. It's got a really strange vibe to it. It's one of those strange, it's just, I don't know. It's like a concrete jungle of just concrete buildings. Like it's not appealing. Um, it's a strange place, Canberra, but that's where our Parliament House is getting back to. And I feel like um, Canberra is about to take a bit of a nosedive. The Parliament is about to take a nosedive. Fingers crossed it's about the yes, no vote and it doesn't get up. Oh, that would be so good. That would be a relief. Um, so I do feel like mm, Canberra might be taking a bit of a nosedive. But I do feel it's around the parliament. Interesting. It could be just that people are calling out um, some of the decisions as well. You know, like, for example, letting people protest for this, but not for that. And mm, it's all... Oh, like I keep saying, it's all dodgy down here in Australia. But you guys get it. You're going through the same things all over the globe. Yeah. Okay, let's keep going. Yeah, so I'm seeing Canberra taking a bit of a nosedive. See, the thing is, guys, and this is a, this is what Canberra's like, the city of Canberra. I've watched their news a few times because we get it here. It's called Win News. And... Their egos are fed on the news. Like when, for example, I've told you this before, when we had the Australian bushfires down here, it was really bad. Everywhere was like covered in smoke, black, you know, the drill. Um, well, on their news, they got told they had the worst smoke in the whole world. They, yes, their smoke was obviously different. Um, and they were told that, you know, they had the most hazardous smoke in the, not just Australia, this is one of the highest readings in the whole world. So they get told this all the time. And then even, for example, the jab wheel. Oh, they had the highest percentage that everyone got jabbed because there's a lot of government workers there and things like that. So they were mandated and had to get it for their jobs to walk into a building. Um, so they get their egos fed. This is what I'm saying. This happens all the time in Canberra. So I do feel there's going to be a little nosedive. This is which is not a bad thing because there's a lot of egos in Canberra, especially in Parliament House. Um, too many cooks in Parliament House in Australia. Um, and I am getting the elbows like plummeting in the opinion polls. He's not so popular anymore. God knows why people voted him in. I'll never understand that. But anyway, um, he made heaps of promises, all broken course gee that's a surprise for a prime minister isn't it break all your promises 
Uh, like we're talking all. I don't think he's even kept one, has he? I don't think so. Like the rest of them, gonna do, gonna do everything, and then just do whatever they want, basically, and not include the little people in half the decision making processes. What a joke! That's where sushi's come unstuck, isn't it? Oh, I say that when you don't include the little people in what you're doing. Mm, doesn't always go to plan, does it? As he's finding out. All right, see if there's anything else today. Oh, they're showing me the Olympic circles, the rings. Obviously, this is happening in France, Paris. It's showing me Macron's like full steam ahead. He's all go with the Olympics. He's getting really well prepared now. He doesn't want any trouble at all. He doesn't want people protesting in the middle of that. He's making sure everything's very disciplined um, and he's implementing these things and putting a lot of structures in place um, oh, to, well, to control and suppress people. That's what I'm getting. So I'm getting the Olympics is, is sort of all go now in, in France and Macron's like really on it. I even believe they're, like, training people up, as in, well, probably like a military. It's not really military. It's like a special task force being assigned to the Olympics. Um, like, if anything goes south, like, example, with the protesting or fight backs or anything, it, it's to be stopped immediately is his order. Stopped immediately. Oh, that'd be right. Um because, of course, ego comes into it again. He, Macron wants to look good on the world stage. Hasn't that gone quiet in France? He's come down hard on those people. But as we know, he went after the parents and everything and was going to throw everybody in jail. Like, what an absolute dictating tyrant. We have to know, guys, that oh, their karma has to catch up with these people. It has to. I have to keep putting that out there, guys. Uh, let me see if there's one more thing and then we'll pull some cards, guys. Oh, I'm getting New Zealand. You got the vote this weekend. Um, I'm getting... Uh, it's showing me people folding their ballot papers. They're folding them up and they're putting them in the ballot box like I'm seeing that. Um, people have come out in droves. Uh, I keep saying people are in two minds with this. It's a tricky vote. It's a very tricky vote for New Zealand. Um, people don't know. They're neither here nor there. With Hippo and Luxon, they're here nor there. It, to be honest, I keep saying to you, I think it doesn't really matter who gets in anyway, to be quite honest, because I think they're pretty much both on the same mm, trajectory. So, um, yeah, but people are wanting to have their say and wanting to have their opinions. And I would say that people have actually done a little bit of research on these leaders, to be honest, or they've watched the Q&As. And see, people aren't stupid. The public isn't stupid. People pick up body language cues. See, that's something I talk about here on this channel all the time. I love body language. You know I do, guys. I'll leave a video over here somewhere at one of my body language videos. It tells you so much and it goes into your subconscious mind. So how someone's coming across to you is, is going to sell what they're selling, which is themselves when it comes to a question and answer forum with these political leaders and things. So I do feel like a lot of that depends on sincerity, body language, <sighs> who looks a stronger character, who can take them and lead this country forward. Um, these are the kind of things that subliminal people are voting with. They're voting with their eye and what they're seeing, um, not necessarily what someone's doing. Um, because I do believe that a lot of people in New Zealand don't trust their prime ministers. After the jab cinder, we know it was a very traumatic event for New Zealand, um, people lost a lot of trust in their government. And now they're like, well, who do we vote for? So I do feel there's a lot of that indecisiveness in New Zealand around this particular vote um, because they probably don't know both of them well enough. And let's hope, guys, people don't fall for the old Greens candidate. See, the annoying part with that Greens thing is it's never really about the Greens. Like, 
you know, unfortunately young ones and that think forests and save the planet and all that stuff. But as we know here, it's never about that, is it? Ah, oh, they always end up supporting the other part. Oh, anyway, I'm not even going to go down the political road. It's too frustrating, isn't it? All right, how about we pull some um, Oracle of the Hidden Worlds? I got my doggy whisperer, Sandy, today, Liliana Riven, who wrote the book Finding Stillness today. We've got doggy walks. Sprocket's still um, a bit on and off, not great. So I mean, I'm going to get Sandy to do a healing with him today, healing session. And if he's no good, I'm going to have to take him to the vet, I think. Poor old Sprocky. Uh, I would have taken him to the vet because he looks like a bit of a fatty at the moment. I was trying to get him to lose a bit of weight. Oh, he's not coping with his diet. Diets are the worst. Oh, the poor little boy. All right, let's see what we get. The mirror, other lives, past lives, dimensional lives. We get mirror energy a lot, guys. Looking at ourselves in the mirror, reflecting on ourselves in the mirror. Other lives. And see, that's what I always say to you guys. I talk about that Sister Shivani. If any of you have checked out Sister Shivani Soul Connections on YouTube, she's absolutely amazing to listen to. Make sure you get the indie, indie, uh, English speaking one because she does a lot of Hindi um ones as well but get an english speaking one she can speak both languages um we all come with sense scars and things from our previous lives and they carry through sometimes we don't know why we get traumatized by something um we just do it's just a, a subconscious trigger that we have which could come from um our previous lives so we have to kind of keep well, I guess looking in the mirror and, and trying to heal them and, and also reflecting. See, we know on this channel you get back what you ref, what you put out. It's that mirror reflection. To change what's out there, you've got to change yourself. We all know that here. So keep walking on, uh, working on that, guys. <clears throat> the Isle of Wonders, Revelation, Teaching, Discovery. Look at all the white doves flying, the white birds. Waterfall flowing energy, white doves. Um, look, it's like a little island in the middle. Of, isn't it a little safe place? That's how I'm seeing that. A little sanctuary to go to. <laughs> but I'm just seeing... Well, there's kind of a bit of turbulence in that too, if you think about it. But then there's also the, um, the peace birds, the peace doves. Revelation, teaching and discovery. See, we do. We have to keep teaching ourselves. I say that all the time when we're, you know, looking up people on YouTube and, and learning and growing off other people because that's what you do. You share knowledge. That's what light workers do. They share knowledge. Oh, for anyone else who hasn't caught up with the videos, I did an automatic write the other day about all of us and why we're going through kind of the ailments and the things we are as well, perhaps. And it did mention Starseed. So go check that video out. It's about four or five videos ago. It's got automatic write written on it. Um, Skyfire, messages, channels, information. See to me that card, it it's a, it is it's got a lot going on in that card. But to me, when I think of messages, channels, and information, to me that's being receptive to it, making sure you're open to receiving information and messages, and and um, well, like channeling things. Like I did that automatic write, for example. I was receptive because I knew I had to to ask what the hell was going on with us all. But that's about being receptive and being open to the messages coming to you, which is why we manifest here. We um, have we know how important synchronicity and these things are in our lives because they're guidance. Messages are guidance and visual. They can come in any form: gut feeling, visuals, um, oh, so things you hear, a little voice in your head that goes, "Don't go that way." You go up the other street. You know, you got to listen to these things. It's there for a reason. Very rarely, like I say, does your body ever give you misinformation. It's pretty good at telling you what's going on. Um, let's pull a soul expression card today.
Got a little fog here this morning. Hope you guys are finally getting some nice sunshine overseas. You've had so much rain and strange weather, haven't you? Oh, we've got two. Grounded energy. Meditate with this card to feel the loving support of grounded energy. I think most of us know about doing that, <laughs> the grounded energy. Um, out in nature, walking barefoot on the grass. We say all the time walking on the beach. Just anything that grounds you. It could be just sitting here in this chair, for example, just looking around the room. That's how you ground yourself as well, focusing on different things around the room that just bring you back into that here and now. Child, remember the feelings of childlike wonder. Surrender to the unconditional love you deserve. And often our childhood wounds can really affect us as well. It's interesting because yesterday I got that, um, I got the baseball, us hitting the ball out of the ballpark and I got that, that cute little movie. It's a baseball movie called Sandlot Kids. It's such a funny, cute little movie. But see, I've got that childlike energy um, yesterday. Like, see things through a child's mind. That's what I'm getting with that childlike energy. Like, don't overthink everything. Just keep things simple. Is Oh, hang on. We're going to pull an affirmation card as well today. That's what I get with that childlike, um, the child energy. Childlike wonder is what I'm getting, which we get quite a bit here, don't we? Let's pull an affirmation card, guys. I haven't had one of these for a while. Just to help us sort out what we need to be doing with our aches, pains and body ailments that we're going through. I mean, we have good days, don't we, guys? And then we have rough days. <laughs> Most of us, not all of us, but there's a lot of us here suffering at the moment. Learn to relax. Your body is precious as it houses your mind and spirit. Inner peace begins with a relaxed body. So you have to keep your body supple. Whether you have, well, a lot of us have Epsom salt bars, whether you go get massage, whether you have acupuncture, um, whether you, oh gosh, you could even go and talk to a psychologist, I suppose, because that probably helps your body too. Sometimes you talk about problems that helps you to calm down in the body too. Work on your anxiety, go for a nice bush walk, go and do a bit of exercise. doesn't matter what you're doing. Um, anything that's going to like calm your body down and your mind, well, soul, I guess, and spirit as well, that all goes hand in hand, doesn't it? Because we're a package deal us. Um, light beings, aren't we? <laughs> We're quite complex, aren't we? We have a lot of sort of facets to our personality. Let me see if there's something to close with today. Oh, I'm getting a few. I'm getting like diamond energy today, and I'm getting that diamonds and pearls by Prince. That song. And then I'm also getting that, she don't like, she don't like diamonds, 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 oh, oh, she don't like diamonds. I don't know who wouldn't like diamonds. Is that the name of the song? I'm just getting that song. Oh, when I think of diamonds, I just think of that clarity, being crystalline, like um, seeing things very clearly but also having value in your life. And I think of a diamond as very valuable. So you've got to have value in yourself and your life. Um, hang on a minute. Oh, they're giving me this song by the Beatles. Oh, I'm sure it's called Ruby Tuesdays. Ruby Tuesday. Is it Ruby Tuesday? Like as in Ruby, like stone? Um, I don't know. It's a Beatles song. Ruby Tuesday. Is that what it's called? Oh, I could be wrong. <laughs> you know what I'm like, guys, in music? I'm trying to interpret. Um, 
Uh, I'll have to look it up. Sorry, guys. I'm going to look for one more song because I'm not sure about that one. But I'm getting, like, the diamond, the ruby. Um, hang on. I'm getting this I'm getting this quote about the reset and it's calling it a cluster F, a cluster F at the moment. Because if you think about it globally, it probably is because there's this, there's that, there's it. they're trying to implement this, they want to do that, but it's not all, because it's not all going smoothly, it's becoming a big cluster F, which is good. That's a great thing. Yay! That means it's not just all rolling on out and everyone's just opening their arms and accepting it that's not happening it's becoming a big cluster f oh that's so good um and it's causing a lot of the leaders a lot of frustration because they don't understand see why the little people peasants and lego people who they think are dumb nimwits aren't just um grabbing it with 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 both hands and like running with it because in their mind it's such a brilliant idea and, and they always think they're the intelligent ones remember egos narcissists um, and they're getting frustrated with the little people now. <laughs> so good. Oh, a cluster F. I love it. I'm trying to be polite, guys. <laughs> Hang on. And I'm getting the shot. <laughs> As a god, I'm sure they do things to take the piss. They, they're showing, enough is enough. I can't go on. I can't go on no more. No, enough is enough. I'm just getting that song. The little people have had enough. And this is everywhere. They've had enough. Their hands up at the government going, enough is enough. And I would say this to personally be a lot of people around the jab wheel. Oh, my hubby came home again and said he had another guy in yesterday who had two jabs and then he realised when they got started wanting him to have the third and fourth, he went, hang on, this is fishy, something's wrong here. Researched and woke up to everything. Um, he didn't even want to get the jab. He said he only got it because he wanted to go to the pub. Hello, how many people out there were put in that position so they could go to the pub, travel, have a coffee at a restaurant, you know, go to a restaurant rather? Nuts, lots of people out there. Um so we know it's happening. They're waking. It's so good. Um, so I'm getting that song, Enough is Enough. People are putting their hand up now. This is with everything. I think it's even with the jab wheel, to be honest. A lot of people have had a gut full of that. Especially when you think about it, as we keep reiterating, they all got sick anyway. Oh, but they probably didn't go to hospital. Is that the difference? <laughs> Remember when they were pushing that narrative? Oh, my God. Um, hang on. Oh, they're giving me this song by, is it Makita? Oh, who sings this song? Toy Soldiers. Step by step, torn apart. Now when, where to go? Like toy soldiers. Hmm. But see, this is what the, this is what the guides are saying. This is what the global elites want. They want us to all just fall in line like the toy soldiers, like the Lego people just all marching along. Hmm, a little bit probably like Panda, which we call China here. Uh, Panda has them like toy soldiers marching along a lot, doesn't it? Um, in their lovely communist country. I am getting that song. That's the ideal. That's what they want us all to be, toy soldiers. Hang on, let me see if this is like a, a, something nice today to end. Yeah, I'm getting the, the um, Beatles song, Let It Be now. We've just got to let all this be. Just let it be. Step back and let it be, guys. And that's the song I'm going to leave you with today. 
the Beatles, let it be. Let it be, let it be. Whisper words of wisdom. Let it be. <laughs> so keep planting your seeds. Whisper your words of wisdom. And also listen to your words of wisdom that are coming through your guidance. Um, How about we um, pick something else to manifest this week, guys? We haven't manifested something for a little while, so I'm going to close my eyes to see if the guides come up with anything. Oh, <laughs> well, they are just being cheeky, aren't they? A circus tent. Oh, a circus tent can be in any form. Doesn't matter. So it's got to be the red and white striped one. You know, the clown show circus tent. <laughs> You've got to manifest a circus tent, guys. All right. Good luck with that. Let's see who can be first to find that one. All right. I'll say goodbye from Australia. Don't forget to hit the like buttons. Please comment down below. We love to chat to each other here. And subscribe if you haven't. That would be great. And I will talk to you in the next video. Take care. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Bye.